Okay, so after I'm done with my eyebrow, I'm going to take a primer. This is Wet n Wild Fergie Primer. Really excellent primer, even better than my Urban Decay Primer Potion. It can be any primer all over the lid, underneath the eye, especially if you're going to smoke out the eye. Well, for this look, I'll probably be going underneath right here. I'm going to take my Tom Ford Quad here, and this is the Cognac Sable, and I'm going to use this color right here, the lower, it will be your lower left hand corner, kind of the lighter brown color, and I'm going to go a little bit above my crease, and that would be like the transitioning type color. gonna go right here I'm using a Sedona EB 15 if I don't mention the brushes I'll have it in the display or in the link down below I'm taking that I'm just going here in this outer corner A clean brush. This is a Sedona 863. Take a clean brush and kind of blend these a little bit together. And if I want, I can go back into that transitional color, which I will just a little to help blend that all together. tattoo I'm going to you it's called fierce and tangy this is what it looks like so I'm gonna go back with the fierce and tangy I'm gonna use a brush to do some precision work right here because I wanted to be a little bit precise. Kind of packing brush and I'm, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to spray it with this elf spray here and the pigment I'm going to be using is the color tattoo pure pigment eyeshadow and breaking bronze <laughs> take this bronzy glittery color here or coppery bronzy glitter co color I'm gonna use my finger for this because I find that the most payoff that I get is by using my finger and I just place it on my I'm 
I'm going to take this. I preferably want to do this before I apply the glitter shadow, but since I forgot, I'll just do it this time like this. You can use your finger or you can use a brush. And I normally for this part would use a brush. Now we're cooking. smaller densely packed brush and go back in a darker shade just a little Off screen, I did highlight my brow with the champagne color here, which is just gorgeous. And I put a little bit of my inner tear duct, but it's probably going to fade a little bit. Always does for some reason. Mine's, I mean, not this particular palette, but just every eyeshadow tends to on me. So I'm going to really douse that down with that champagne color. You can add this color here down to your lower lid. That's up to you, but I think it's just a little bit too much for this look. Um, my lids here, my lower lid here has a lot of skin, so you really can't see the blending of the colors and everything. So I'm going to take a wet wipe or you can use a makeup remover. I'm going to use a wet wipe or a makeup remover and kind of clean all this up, especially this glitter fallout to get it off my face and I'm going to line my eyes and maybe put on some lashes and mascara and then that's pretty much the look I'm just gonna line it with either black or brown it's up to you maybe black at the top maybe brown at the bottom I'm not for sure I'll probably do black to kind of really concentrate it so black at the top black at the bottom mascara and bam you're on your way so 